Okay. Here we go. Here's the potassium chlorate, and we have something called MnO2, uh, manganese dioxide or manganese. It's called four oxide. You'll learn how to name those next year. <coughs> what we're going to do in the presence of heat, so this delta H over the arrow means you're going to be adding heat. Um, the MnO2 underneath the arrow means it's a catalyst. You don't know what catalysts are yet, but you will soon. We'll produce the solid potassium chloride, and that's what we're after, oxygen gas. Now, the way we're going to collect the gas today is over water. Collecting a gas over water is a way to get a purer sample of your gas. For instance, let's say that I wanted to sell my breath on eBay. It's legitimate. Um, people would probably want a pure sample of my breath. So if I wanted to capture my breath in this jar, you'd probably feel a little gypped if I just went like this. You know, and then sealed that baby off and packaged it and charged you $8 for shipping and handling. And you'd get it, and sure enough, you'd have my breath in that jar, but would it be a pure sample of my breath in that jar? What else is in there? Stuff from the room, right? Stuff that's not my breath. So the way that we collect a pure sample of the gas is by collecting it over water. This is sort of cute. What I do is I'll fill this beaker first up with water. Sorry, this jar up with water. To the very tippy tippy top, back to the point where it's overflowing. Then I'll take this piece of glass and put it over top. Let me get that air bubble out. And then turn it upside down. Pretend you don't see that air bubble there. So inside this jar, we just have water. I'm going to place this jar in this pneumatic trough. Now, the pneumatic trough has some water in the bottom of it. I'm going to make the mouth of the jar go below the water level and pull that cover slip out. So what's inside that jar right now? Water. Water. In the bottom of the pneumatic trough, there's a tiny hole. I'm going to position this jar over that tiny hole. And that hole is connected to this tube. So now, if I blew into this tube, the air from my breath would displace the water inside that jar. So far, so good? And if I was careful, couldn't I seal that underwater, inverted, and just capture my breath in that jar? Wouldn't that be more pure than if I just blew into it from the room? That's the basis behind how we're going to collect oxygen today in class. I'm going to connect this tube, though, instead of to my mouth, to this test tube. And in this test tube, you'll see I have my potassium <coughs> chlorate already with a little bit of my catalyst at the bottom. So we'll heat this up. And as the reaction proceeds, you take a look at the jar. What do you see? Bubbles. You see bubbles. That's oxygen gas being created in this test tube. The gas traveling through the rubber tubing and into my glass jar filled with water. So we'll let it react until my jar fills. I'll shut the gas off. Take my cover slip, and I'm just going to lift this jar up just a little bit, just enough to get my cover slip underneath it. What's inside that jar now? What type of gas? Oxygen gas. Now, technically, it's not pure oxygen gas. In fact, you can see there's something else in there. There's a bit of water vapor in there, isn't there? Uh, that's something we have to contend with. So yeah, in reality, it's not pure O2 gas, but it's much more pure than if I were to just have that rubber tubing, uh, I don't know, inside that jar and just hold it there in the room air. Now, a test for the presence of oxygen gas is using a wood wooden splint. Um, you guys may have heard or thought that oxygen gas is flammable. In reality, the gas itself is not flammable. It's the stuff that's burning in the gas. Room air is about 20% oxygen. That's what you're breathing, 20, 21%. In this jar, it's close to 100%, isn't it? Oxygen supports combustion. Things will burn faster. I'll light the wood splint. And if you guys remember, we actually saw a video with this demo on it not too long ago. And we'll tap out the wood splint. Okay, put the wood splint in my jar full of oxygen. Nope, I think I tapped it out. I didn't let it burn long enough. Let's try that again. 
tap out my work splint, put in my jar full of oxygen, and great news. And we can do that again. And again. Now we're going to do a lab shortly where we do a similar uh, gas collecting process, but we're going to collect hydrogen gas instead. Would you expect the same thing to happen if this jar were full of hydrogen gas? It probably wouldn't be very safe, actually. Hydrogen gas is explosive. <laughs> That's not a good idea. We do another one where we collect carbon dioxide gas. What would happen if I had collected carbon dioxide gas? Probably extinguish the flame, wouldn't it? It does not support combustion. But we can continue with this game until we run out of oxygen. Yeah. Okay? That'll work, man. <coughs>